What's up, y'all? It's Masoud Parfum, and we're in the streets tonight, and I'm doing a review from the house of Chanel, Hello Om. This one was released in 1999. The perfumer is Jacques Polge, and this one is an eau de toilette concentration, okay? This one is being described or classified as an oriental woody. All right, my bottle I have here is a reformulation, as you can see by my pretty cap on there with the silver ring. And I just want to let you know, the consumers, is this one still worth buying in 2018? Okay, I'll let you know at the end of the video. But before we do that, we'll crack into the composition for Chanel. The composition Hello. for Chanel Hello. Hello. Oh. All right, if you go on certain websites, as base notes, free Grantica, and so forth. I don't think they have an accurate notes for Chanel fragrances. And especially for this one, it is way out of whack. When you have things in there like peaches and coconut, you know, it's not right, <laughs> okay? So I'll just go off what Chanel gives me and what my nose picks up in this fragrance. At the top, starts off fresh. And in the pre-formulation, it, start, it starts off super fresh. You may actually think this is going into some sort of aquatic or summer freshy scent, but no, 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 it doesn't. That's the pre-formulation because in the pre-formulation, the citruses in, in the pre-formulation are very prominent. However, in this one, not so much. It is very mild and not so noticeable. And that's the current theme in the composition for, for this fragrance. Many of the notes are not very noticeable. Okay, so according to Chanel, I do believe in the top we have tangerine and coriander and they blend together so well and mesh. And then immediately after like 10 seconds, that goes away. That tangerine goes away. It's out the picture. And the coriander gives a little bit of woodsiness can't really describe what type of woods, but just a little bit of woodsiness. And then you got the vanilla coming right into play with the pepper. So you got two bits of spices coming into this fragrance. And the vanilla gives it a little bit of creaminess in there. A, a nice creamy vibe. And I do believe vanilla is the main player for most of the Chanel Aloha Home fragrances. And it, it's giving that creamy vibe right there. And in the base, you have labdomen, citrus labdomen, according to Chanel, and Venezuelan tonka beans with, a, with some cedar wood to hold that base down. And what I'm getting in there is a little bit of tonka beans, giving this fragrance a bit of balliness with the vanilla, and it has a little bit of sweetness as well. From the, It has a little bit of sweetness in there and a bit of cedar wood. And it's just giving it a very creamy, manly scent. To just put it simple to you. Creamy, manly scent. So yeah, that's how this one smells. A creamy, manly scent. <laughs> I hope that helps. But the main note in here, I'll have to say is vanilla. And that's not listed on the Chanel website. However, I could definitely pick that up in this fragrance. And it is the main player in Chanel Allure Homme. Okay, it's that vanilla, it's the main theme. And that's the only note I think someone could clearly identify with this fragrance. All right, but just a casual sniffer, they wouldn't know how to describe this. They'll think it's always a fresh scent and it goes off woodsy, creamy woodsy, fresh scent. That's the best way to describe it. Describe the scent. Let's say it with me. Creamy, woodsy, fresh scent. There you go. Chanel Allo Homme. To wear this one. What seasons is this one good for? I say this is really great for fall, winter, and spring, and summer nights. It's not that strong of a fragrance where it's going to power through outdoors in the wintertime, but it works in the wintertime as well. 
and just look at the box look at the bottle it has this beautiful copper color that goes with that fall color theme so this is perfect for fall but works well in three seasons spring fall and winter and summer nights okay if you want to push it there because it's quite balmy I wouldn't recommend this for summer especially if you live in a humid conditions I could get away with it here with my cool summers but for you I said no find something else to wear all right let's get into the ratings for Chanel Allure Homme and we'll start off with the projection projection on this one I'll have to say it's average projection pretty much poor to average I'm getting with this one okay you'll, you'll get about an arm's length in the first hour and just subsides to a skin scent after that and that's it for projection siage on the other hand is I'll have to say the siage is good on this one and to enhance the performance on this one spray on the back of your collar on your shirt on your clothing and it surely did surprise me I sprayed it on my clothing and this lasts 10 hours on clothing on skin you're getting six hours on skin all right that's for longevity I rushed it there didn't I <laughs> all right so siage is pretty good when I go from one room to the next I could just get woofs of it woof woof and it's just woofing everywhere this scent so siage is, is really good on this one surprisingly especially if it clings on to your clothing and that's another thing I noticed about this fragrance it sticks to clothing pretty well this fragrance so yeah project siage is good Longevity, I'll say it's average on the skin, but like I've mentioned before, to enhance that um, performance, just spray it on your clothing and you'll get 10 hours longevity. So longevity for this is pretty good. All right, let's move, All right, let's move into the presentation for this beautiful fragrance here. All right. It comes in this beautiful copper color box with champagne gold edges and it has the Chanel typical CC Chanel logo on top of the box with a little ohm written on the front and Chanel or the toilette written in black and it has the rest of your boring stuff which I won't talk about so the box is pretty plain nothing here to write it's not bad and it's not great either so I said the box is good the bottle I think is just a classic bottle It's amazing it comes in this clear glass as you can see here and yeah it comes in three sizes you have the 50 milliliters 100 milliliters and 150 milliliters the three typical Chanel sizes for the lower line and the bottle is in this clear glass with the words Allure written in co copper and ohm in white and the cap is just stunning it has a champagne metallic gold color thing going on and the CC logo written on top in copper and then you have this silver band here going across the cap with a bezeled out Chanel writing on, on top which just gives it a touch of class to me and that's pretty nice so it, yes the atomizer is awesome it's a Chanel atomizer it sprays really well you can control the sprays how much you want and it's pretty good it's really great so for presentation, I'll have to say, give it an excellent, well done. No complaints here. Okay, and that's it for the presentation for Chanel Allure Homme. 
Okay, let's talk about feedback for Chanel Alo Om. This one, you're not going to get too much wow factor feedback from this one. I sprayed it. I've asked some people what they think of it, and they all said, oh, it's okay, it's good, it's good. It's not going to blow anyone's socks off, okay? Like I've stated before, it's just a basic fragrance, all right? And that's it for Chanel Alo Om. Oh, not bad. No one hates it. Everyone likes it. That's why it's good for work. But it's, it's not, it doesn't have that wow factor. It doesn't have that X factor. It's quite mundane, so to speak, or bland at some times. Just unfortunate. And it does smell like other scents out there. For example, F Black by Salvatore Fergamo and Perry Ellis M, which I don't have. And it, it, it also rides in a similar, it gives off a similar vibe, such as Boss Bottle and E. Saint Laurent Lum and so forth. So, yeah. And I, I think those actually do it a little bit better as well. <laughs> but this is still quite good. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes it, get, it, it gets lost in the collection. Okay. And I'll have to give it an overall score and rating for this one. I'll have to say this is a average fragrance. This is an average fragrance for me. And the reason I said it's average is because it does get lost in my collection at times. Sometimes I forgot I even own this fragrance, you know. And you won't see this cracking too many top 10 lists for those top 10s we like to watch on YouTube. So no. And is it still worth to buy this one in 2018? I say no. You don't need this in your collection. I've just told you other scents that does pretty much the same job this one does. And it doesn't evoke any special memories for me as well. It may for you, and it may just be special to you. That's the special thing about this fragrance hobby for us, right? So, this one comes off pretty much mundane. Therefore, I said it makes a great work scent. <laughs> okay, nothing against it. That doesn't mean it's bad, but it's not something I'll pull for if I have a special event coming up. So guys, if you, you're just a regular guy who just wears one or three different fragrances, I can't see someone reaching for this to purchase, you know, in 2018. For the collector, yes, you want to have this fragrance in your collection, you, you know, especially if you're a fan of the House of Chanel. This should be in your collection. But just for the average guy, I said, no, you, you really don't need this one. There, there are plenty of other scents that will do this job and probably a better job at it. So that is my review for Chanel Lo Om. Okay, let me know if you like this review, guys. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in another one.